Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and welcome to our football construction site as we build a team through the NFL Draft. You always hear others say that this particular draft is weak or wait until next year to take this particular position or the NFL draft is an inexact science, but we at Football Game Plan believe that all three of those statements are huge myths and we're here to show you why as we go through seven rounds of the NFL draft and pick players to make each NFL team better. But before we get started, let's take a look at the mock draft rules. You have to remember that the selections that you see in this mock draft will be based off of Football game plan scouting player rankings, which you can find on our website at youtube.com slash football game plan or football game plan.com slash FBGP scouting. They're also based off what I would do as the general manager, not what I think they'll do, not what they have done or what they will do, but what I would do if I were the GM and also what I believe are the team needs. So not what other people may think the team needs are. If I think they need a quarterback, then I'm gonna take a quarterback. That's how it's gonna go for this mock draft. So it's time to put on my GM hat and let's get started in building up the NFL. The Saints are armed with two first round picks and they have to get better defensively. So with the first selection, I went with Marshawn Lattimore of Ohio State. Both Delvin Bro and PJ Williams are talented, but they can never stay healthy. Now, I just said that those two guys can't stay healthy. Lattimore does have some slight injury concerns, but he also has that elite level ability that can't be ignored and would immediately be a day one starter for New Orleans. Addressing the defensive line with Derek Barnett out of Tennessee, who was highly productive and consistent within the SEC and would give the Saints a talented bookend opposite of Cam Jordan. And I'm a big fan of Lorenzo Jerome's versatility. He can play multiple spots in the secondary and that'll allow defensive coordinator Dennis Allen the opportunity to get creative and where he can place Jerome. One important trait that he has is terrific instincts, which pairs up perfectly with elite ball skills. Losing Brandon Cooks leaves an opening for an explosive talent opposite second year player Michael Thomas. Ted Ginn absolutely does not count. Taewon Taylor out of Western Kentucky does. The Western Kentucky star is an explosive threat who has game very similar to Kendall Wright and would serve as a good compliment to Thomas as a Z receiver. I wanted to give the Saints a good quarterback prospect to serve as Breeze's understudy and Alec Torgerson of Penn fits that mold. He has complete mastery of the short to intermediate passing game and the velocity to shrink the football field when he throws a ball. Robert Tanyan Jr. of Indiana State has the Saints pick written all over him. The 6'5", 225 pound wide receiver slash tight end is a good flex option as a tight end or as an F receiver on the inside in the NFL. And that'll remind some Saints fans of Marcus Colson and what he brings to the table over the middle of the field and also inside the red zone. Finally, Xavier Coleman is a feisty corner from Portland State. He excels in press coverage and shows above average footwork to mirror and match with receivers both on the outside and also in the slot. So that's a wrap for this edition of Building Through the Draft. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. And if you want to watch our other NFL team seven round mock drafts, and you already should, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan, where you can catch all of our FBGP scouting prospect ranking videos. Also subscribe to Football Game Plan Podcast on iTunes.